Several college rankings are available every year to those deciding on their college list. You can use these rankings to collect information to inform your plans. While these rankings can be helpful, none of them can be lifted and claimed as your map for your college applications. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is how to utilize college rankings in developing your college application list. While we are speaking of four-year colleges and university rankings here, there are rankings available for community colleges and trade or vocational schools. Those rankings tend to be more regional in focus as students tend to stay closer to home. Many of the words of advice and warning in this video can be applied to any ranking of educational institutions. College rankings place schools in a hierarchy of universities and colleges based on a selected criterion. It is important to remember that none of the ranking organizations list every college in the country. These rankings focus on educating traditional students in age, access, and educational training. Six different ranking organizations are spoken of most often. They include U.S. News Education, Forbes, Niche, The Princeton Review, Wall Street Journal, and Money Magazine. None of these are better for your use than another in that none of them are written specifically for you. They are written based on the measurements the editors and their advisors have determined to be necessary. For example, U.S. News measures selectivity as part of its formula. Niche does not, but they do use safety, which does not appear in the U.S. News formula. The criterion utilized by some of the rankings catalog schools by state, region, or nationally. You can also find a lineup of schools such as liberal arts colleges, historically black colleges and universities, a list based on the financial value of the education presented, academic programming, by campus setting as public or private colleges based on the school setting, campus size, or safety statistics. You can even find a measure of campuses based on their fit for veterans. And more ranking criteria are available depending on the list creator. It is the ranking beyond the list of the best ones that break down schools with a more narrow focus that will provide more information for your personal college search. Take the information you can from each ranking to cobble together the most critical data for your personal hierarchy of colleges that will be lucky enough to receive an application from you. Before you begin this process, we caution that you sit down and determine what attributes you are looking for in the college you attend. Is it cost or financial support available to students? Is it based on student services such as recreational services, mental health support, disability offerings, housing options, job placement services, or on-campus and off-campus activities? Once you know what is essential to you, you can add to your list if an interesting measurement comes up as a part of any ranking. As you put together your list, you can collect data on your priorities and create your order. Sometimes looking at the rankings, even if your favorite schools are involved, can show you a school that you had not previously considered and now believe you should investigate. Great. Do that investigation and place the information on your college list worksheet. We need to caution that sometimes the rankings make schools look better as an option than they should. A school sitting at the top of the U.S. News rankings may be shiny and exciting, but it still needs to be weighed against your priorities. You need to look at more than one ranking source. As mentioned, organizations rank based on different yardsticks and measure various components. For the rankings to be helpful, you must ensure that you have as much information as possible. Recognize that the information on the schools used in the rankings is based on publicly available data and some reporting directly from the universities. This can make the information suspect. For instance, in the U.S. News overall rankings last year, Columbia was ranked number two. Soon after, a faculty member at Columbia began questioning the statistics reported by the university. Columbia backed away from the rankings, indicating they would investigate the discrepancies. They asked to be absent from this year's lineup. U.S. News determined that rather than drop Columbia, they would use publicly available statistics to rank the university. This year, Columbia ranked 18th. This is a reminder that all of the rankings are only as good as the numbers utilized. Use caution in interpreting everything presented. Much of what is ranked is financial, acceptance rate, and public stature. 
Be advised that taking those components into account in your search needs to be tempered by the assets your transcript and activities experience bring to the selection. There are a lot of bells and whistles in the rankings. Don't be overwhelmed or lose focus on your goals. Other than a few rankings that use student sentiment, there is little input from a student perspective on the quality of the schools on the list. Even those students who do contribute are hand-picked to provide their input. If you want to know more about a student perspective of each campus, visit the campus and ask, or get in touch with students who can share their insights. College rankings are a two-dimensional measure of any school. They test what the college offers to a general student population. They are not geared specifically to you. Continue to do your homework with college rankings being just one component. Know your priorities for your education and find resources like college rankings to inform your decisions. If you found any of this information useful, hit the like button or perhaps consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below.